How well does this revised luxury SUV stand out against some accomplished opposition? Five years after it was launched to head off BMW's hot-selling X6, the Audi Q8 Coupe SUV has been refreshed. The changes aren't seismic, but perhaps they didn't need to be. The Q8 has always done a decent job of combining the opulence, quietly strong performance and all-round ease, of use of the Audi Q7 with a less pedestrian look and subtly sharper cornering ability. In Europe, Audi now sells roughly one Q8 for every two Q7s, so the decision to launch the model, in the first place was also clearly the right one. Design and Styling Although its model nomenclature might suggest otherwise, the Q8 is 66mm shorter overall and quite a bit lower, than its Audi Q7 sibling car. It has a body that's 27mm wider, without mirrors, than that of the Q7, but it uses the same axle track widths and the same wheelbase. In design terms the car is intended to embody Audi's philosophy, more than any other, and while certainly striking and recognizable as an Audi, the Q8 isn't an instantly attractive, must-have luxury item. It's more of a slow burner. You can see where visual links with the original Quattro have been attempted, but few of them really hit home and the Q8 lacks the same sense of allure as, say, the Range Rover Veeler. The silhouette is, however, more elegant than alternatives for Mercedes, BMW and Porsche. In terms of mechanical hardware, UK cars get sports-tuned adaptive air suspension, and 21 inches alloy wheels as standard, up to 23 inches is available, with four-wheel steering available as an option. For now, the active anti-roll bars and the, the Sport differential are limited to the SQ8. Audi's engineers say they didn't feel that they needed to turn to either, the torque vectoring diff or the clever anti-roll bars, to deliver a distinguished driving experience in the regular Q8. Interior Given the Q8's positioning as a flagship offering within Audi's Q-series of cars, you would expect the SUV's cabin to offer something a little extra, in terms of visual or material wow factor over and above its maker's other large vehicles. Taking up a sizable amount of dashboard fascia, real estate is Audi's dual-screen MMI infotainment system, which comprises a primary 10.2 inches screen, above a 8.6 inches unit. The upper screen controls all of the Q8's features and functions, such as the satellite navigation, vehicle settings and telephone connectivity, while the lower screen is intended to display those features, you interact with most often, such as the air conditioning, radio and seat heating. Audi's virtual cockpit also replaces traditional analog, instrument dials as standard. By incorporating the vast majority of vehicle controls, within the twin screens, physical dials and buttons are scarce, and the result lends the Q8 an interior, that feels considerably more minimal, than that of a Porsche Cayenne or Mercedes-Benz GLE. We measured a typical rear legroom figure of 790mm, for the Porsche, while the Audi came in at a still abundant 750 millimeters, boot volume, meanwhile, is an adequate 605 liters. Engines and performance. There exists something of a mismatch between the predatory aesthetics of the Q8 and this demure diesel powertrain. Overtakes are drama-free but a little more mid-range, go would be appreciated, because even nearly 450 pounds FT of torque is blunted somewhere by the Q8's substantial mass. A similar problem exists in the petrol V6 TFSI, though neither power unit ever prevents you from making calm, assured progress. The cruising credentials of the TDI include a touring economy of a shade over 40 miles per gallon. With the standard 75-liter fuel tank, this means a potential range of 660 miles between stops. Along the way you'll find the engine shutting off entirely, if you coast in a window between 30 miles per hour and 100 miles per hour, with the 48V mild hybrid system, at other times recuperating energy through the brakes. As our instrumented tests have shown, the car's physical brakes are also excellent, should you ever need to exercise them fully. However, the big picture here is that, in regular form, Q8 lacks the firepower to justify its racy silhouette. 
It's a shame that the only route into V8 power is to opt for the 500 brake horsepower SQ8, which has a 0 to 62 miles per hour, time of just over 4 seconds but now costs nearly 100,000 pounds. Note, though, that upcoming plug-in hybrid versions of the V6 powertrains, should feel notably punchier than the non-hybrid versions. So friends, so that's our short review this time, don't forget to subscribe, like comments and share, for other latest video updates. Thank you.